I am Ultimate Redfire, and in this video, we'll be playing The Last Door. Alright, now, October 1891. Vidit Nisquiskiat, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. That was all my childhood friend, Anthony Beechworth, has written in this letter. It has been many years since I've heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. This letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. <coughs> Without delay, I took the first boarding train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Episode 1 The Letter. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Alright. Alright, um, so yeah, I'm playing The Last Door. Um, I've heard about this when I was first in, uh... This is strange. Everything is silent. It's as if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. I've heard, first heard about this in high school, um... Um, I forgot where, but yeah, I first heard about this in high school when I played I loved it, absolutely, I loved it so much, like, it was such a good, I thought to myself, wow, this game's amazing, um, I found this actually on their website, um, I'll put the link in the description, anyways, a note on the table, dear Mr. Beechworth, due to recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. 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 I was thinking Brewer, but I was like, wait, that's not right. A grandfather clock is the only sound around here. Alright. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Cabinet with the uh, glasses and liquor bottles. There's also a matchbox. Matches could become useful. <coughs> this portrait is crooked. Let's see, on March 5th, 1891, Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. May 18, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He is such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He is growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15, 1891. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Windows dirty, can barely see through the outside. Nothing interesting here in these drawers. <coughs> All right, um, see, let's see what's in here. So yeah, when I found this game, I forgot. Maybe I found it on like Newgrounds. No, not Newgrounds. It was um Congregate. That's a good website. I never go in there though. Uh, kitten stove and cleaning cloth. It might come in handy. I'll take it. Um, I have unlocked the door. Unlatched. Murders crows eating eagerly. There's so many birds that I cannot see their prey from here. Uh, 
Yeah, the, I remember, um, playing it long time ago in high school. I remember... What's this? An old rosary, a cord of beads, the solid wooden crucifix. Well, let's see, uh, playing it in high school. Um... This is, uh, it's always long. Let's try finding a key to open it. I remember the last... <clears throat> The last episode I was on, the last one I played, was like, um... I, I, f I forgot most of it, but I do remember, like, a stage. And then there was, like, I think three people wearing masks. Uh, presumably, uh, cults. This here... It's stuck, it won't open. It's so dark. I can't go any further. It's too dark. Hmm. A lamp to light the way. All right. <clears throat> now I can get into that um that hallway. Which is over here. So you're like, I'm, I was when I first played this game, I was very interested in like the mystery, <clears throat> the mystery and the puzzles in this game. I really enjoyed it. Like I was just so into it, man. Silver key. All right, now can go to that door. Let's see. Oh, by the way, if you couldn't tell, this game is like a point-and-click horror horror game, horror adventure. <sighs> All right, the door is over here. I wonder if that guy who hung himself earlier was actually yeah that guy is it that guy is Anthony so okay right, what's this uh slate disc record sleeve reads the carnival of Venus all right what is that pipe slate rusted iron crowbar um anything else Broiler! Hmm. Alright, oh god, hang on a second. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, I think that's all I can find down here. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so crowbar, I saw a door boarded up. And I think I saw a gramophone, I think is what it's called, in a room. So, uh, is that what it's called? Anthony is doing these new inventions. Record. <clears throat> the music was abruptly stopped. Was that? Oh, look at that! Scurry. Oh, okay. So there's a bunch of crows there. So I'm assuming, yeah. <clears throat> a dying crow. Not much life left in it. Let's pick that up. Alright, so let's open up that boarded door. Oh yeah, by the way, the music's also very good. Alright. My god! 
What has happened here? A lifeless body of a woman has been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching on a note into her hand. I am writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger, with a look bereft of all sanity, or bereft, bereft of all sanity. Compassion and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells within our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brother and sister soon. Brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from the abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. Long hairpin. <clears throat> it's a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break everyone's will, or anyone's will. <coughs> I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish you could send me this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. A letter in a feeble handwriting. I cannot go on. All is lost. It's a diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I am not worthy of this family. But who are they to... But dust and bones. A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Let's see. Uh, nothing of interest in a dressing table. Wait, what does that say? I did... Leave me alone. Okay. Alright. What is this? Big Raven perched outside the window, typing the glass with its beak. Hmm. A room of paintings. I don't think there's anything in there. Uh, when it leads to a balcony, shared with the adjacent room. Using the hairpin, I managed to spring the latch with ease. A common hammer in good condition. Some sort of spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. Can of paint thinner. <clears throat> I dip the cloth with paint thinner. I have put an end to the poor creature's suffering. <clears throat> I think I've already said this, but when I first played the game. I thought to myself, wow, this game's amazing, I want more. <clears throat> so pretty much every day I would visit the website, and like I said before, um, the last time I played it, um, it was on an episode where there was people in masks on a stage. That's what I remember. Well, the last thing I remember, at least. An empty bowl. Like the one used to feed pets. I can probably use the rosary to help that up. Yeah. Let's see. I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. <coughs> Where did the crow go? There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. The sound is louder down here. <clears throat> so yeah, the game the game is amazing. I love it. I love the mystery and puzzles and stuff. A black cat is staring at me. But wait! Its eyes are missing! 
Good lord! It almost ripped my eyes out! It has run away into the dark. There's an open chest with a dark cloak and mask, and a knife. This knife could be useful. I wonder where the cat went. <clears throat> oh yeah, I bought this game like, um, months ago, actually last year, but I'm just now getting to playing it. Um, there's a season one and a season two. I bought both of them when they were on sale, because I was such a fan of the game. Okay, so, I discovered a room with... <coughs> Wait, have I even went into this door? Hmm. Anyways, there was a room with paintings. I wonder if this paint thinner can do anything with it. A woman of strong feature and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like the woman on the bed. She is holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is married by a severe mared by a severe, unsettling gaze. This young woman, not yet in her twenties, stares defiantly at me. A man with blonde hair. It feels like I have seen him before. Portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wildcat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. <coughs> the paint looks fresher, huh? All right. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The lynx's mouth is open, as if it were growling. Hmm. Didn't I see like a? Like a statue of a cat or something? Pretty sure I did. <clears throat> yeah, that's right here. This lynx looks like one of Anth looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. His mouth is shut, like it was before. I revealed the original painting. I wonder. I managed to get the Link's mouth open. There's a golden key inside. Golden key, huh? Where does this lead? On top of the ladder, there's a trap door with a, gold, with a keyhole reinforced with gold. And a golden key, huh? Alright. Oh, God! No! Anthony! No! The lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There is something in his pocket. It is a sealed letter. Dear J. DeVitt, If you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I wrote to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends. And when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you have failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and insanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all swore on our honor that sentence that would protect us. This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group, and yours too, are in great danger. Do not delay, they are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, Devitt. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Dang. The last door. The 
The adventure continues in episode 2. The last order was funded via Kickstarter by 285 backers and published in March 11, 2013. Okay. That's the end there. <sighs> Alright. That is it for that. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when I make new videos. And I will see you in the next one.